It's your favorite day of the week, or at least it's my favorite day of the week, package day. So if you wanna see what's new to my collection, plus a first impressions, stick around, hang around to this intro runs, and then we are going to get right into it. I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. What's going on, everybody? You guessed it. It is your boy, Trey Sense. And I so appreciate you all returning to the scene of the crime. And today is a reviewer's favorite day. It is package day. My package came. I'm excited. So we're going to do a first impressions and a what's new to my collection and what it is similar to. Let me take my watch off because I don't want to get in the way. Your boy just got off work, coming home and grinding for y'all. Also, before we get into this, I need a little something from you. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video because it helps the boy grow. And I need you to sub if you haven't already. And after you do all that, be sure to hit the icon bell so you get notifications. Let's get the first one out of the way. This is from a house I don't think I've heard anyone talk about. And it's from 1111 Parfums. And this one is called Lake and Sky. And I just got a travel itemizer of this because I wanted to try it. And I got this from Nordstrom's. I got both of these from Nordstrom's. And see my cute little travel itemizer? I think it was 20 bucks. And that's the little box it came in. Nothing, you know, nothing too extravagant, nothing fancy. All right, this is a first impression. And this fragrance is unisex. Lake and Sky, I'll tell you exactly what I'm expecting and if it Definitely a perfume concentration, not a whole lot of alcohol right there. So it's, I'll say it's a decently made fragrance. I think a 3.4 ounce bottle of this is running about a hundred bucks maybe. I think that's what I saw if I remember correctly. Again, this is 1111 Lake and Sky. And this is an EDP, this is a perfume concentration. Okay, um, it's very light. It's very airy. I get the sky. Uh, I don't really get the lake yet. It may come in later. It's a nice scent, but um, from, from what I'm smelling from the initial last I will pass and here's why I picked up things at places like uh, what is that store is it Gap where we get the, the Kendrick goods they have one I think called warm cotton I think I've smelled some clean warm cotton um, or some, somewhere I want to say clean has something with cotton in it and I know I picked up something at Gap when I was looking for my uh, wood, sage, and sea salt, or whatever it is. You know the one I'm talking about. And that's what it reminds me of. I get the sky, I don't get the lake. It's a very, very nice scent, but it is extremely, extremely light. And I'm the type of guy I like my fragrances to have a little bit of punch. And if you see me keep glancing at my collection over there, it's because I'm thinking about my Calvin Klein uh, Eternity Air, which this kind of has that same vibe. I actually think air is a little bit better I don't see this being a monster performer. It's unisex. Uh, it's starting to warm up, but it just gives me more of a cotton vibe than it does a lake vibe. I don't really get the lake. Yeah, decent fragrance, but I can't recommend that you pick this up unless you get it at a really, really good price. Definitely warm. It just reminds me of a warm blanket. I, I'm not, you know, I guess this, this, the name Sky is because it's kind of ozonic, you know, um, very airy. So I get the sky. Don't get the lake. But nonetheless, just wanted to try it so I could tell you guys about it. It is from the house of 1111, and it is Lake and Sky, and it's not a thumbs down. It's a proceed with caution. 
I personally would not spend any more than what I spent on this. Um, that's just me. Now this next one, I reviewed this fragrance from a decan. Decided I wanted it in my collection and I, and I have it. It is from the House of All Saints and it is Sunset Riot. See the box? Okay, let's open him up. And this is what's new to my collection. Now this is not a first impression because we've already smelled this. Um, and as I get him open, I, I do think this one is unisex as well. As I stumble and fumble with the box. In the box is nothing fancy. Just a plain old box. It does have that pretty picture on the back or whatever that is. Part of the reason why I wanted this fragrance in my collection for the price that I got it for. And I paid $50 for it. Caught it on sale at Normstons for $50. Bucks. Um, very reminiscent of a house. I would love to start spending some money with Eight and Bob. Very simplistic bottle design. Love the Eight and Bob bottles. Um, but this is not Eight and Bob. This is... Uh, 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 All Saints Sunset Riot and as you see you look through it and it's got that on the back very nice bottle wooden cap for this that's on this snug goodness oh my goodness y'all I cannot get this cap off well mm. I'll be right back. 